Mr. Sticker Mania from Louisville, Kentucky, Kentucky with my red hot fireworks uh, new arrivals on my Sticker Mania 2853 eBay store. Got these two Magical Mystery Tours pressings from Germany. They're both audiophile pressings. Got a 1977 from Germany with the A1 B3 in the Dead Wax B3. True, true stereo on the B side. Got this 1980 um, pressing with the same cutting, but it was con uh, contracted in France, made in France. Got A1 on the Dead Wax of the A side. My little story about this is I got a Thorns TD320 turntable, real expensive in the early 80s. And I bought this new in a store and I had no idea that it was going to, the way it sounded. It was just unbelievable the difference between this and the American pressings, all true stereo from the master tapes. I brought, brought over some of my Beatle Freak friends and they were just flabbergasted when I played the B-side and they heard Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields, Baby You're a Rich Man, all in true stereo and they had never heard all the detail that was, that's in this pressing. It's just everybody that has expensive stereo uh, audiophile equipment system must have this pressing if they really want to showcase it. Just amazing. Got this, another audiophile pressing. My grandson's helped me out on this video. Got this German, Germany pressing of 1971 Sticky Fingers. Notice how the zipper is, looks a little different than the American versions. But it's got a, um, um, it's got TML in the dead wax, which means it was cut by Doug Sachs for the Europe versions in the United Kingdom and Germany. And it's got a much better uh, audiophile sound than the USA. It's less muddy than the, uh, that it is on the US pressings. That's the original inner sleeve. It's got, uh, it's got an A1, it's got an A2, B3 in the dead wax, which is the first pressing besides the TML. All right, grandson's gonna help me with the rest of it. Get this out of the way a little bit. We got this lot of 20 Rolling Stone monthly booklets from the United Kingdom between 1964 and 1966. These are much harder to find than the uh, Beatle monthlies that they made a ton of, and each one's got a centerfold picture of a uh, large, of one of the Rolling Stones. Let's see if I can find it, right there. Boy, I got lucky there, I got Mick Jagger on that one. They're in um, very good condition, some have writing on the cover but it means that they were a pound, six pence was a, cap, was a price in England in the early 60s. All right, we got next. Got another audiophile pressing, rubber sole. This is from the 1978 BC 13 that was imported by Capitol Records from the United Kingdom. But um, it's got a minus one on the A side on the dead wax, which means it was cut from the original um, master tapes on the A side. And you just have not heard no reply. And I'm a loser and babies in black until you heard this pressing on the B side has a dash three HTM, which means it was recut by Harry T. Moss. And it sounds pretty amazing too, but a lot of people 
think this isn't one of their favorite Beetle albums, but if you hear this pressing, it will, it's just amazing. It will rock your, uh, it's so, it rocks out so much that the um, Beatles were so great in covering uh, rock and roll music and um, Long Tall Sally, and they were the masters of uh, covering the oldies. They took it to a whole different level. They took it to the Beatles level. Got this uh, early 1970s uh, pressing from the United States of Rubber Soul in the shrink, and it's on the Apple label. And this is one time when the get it out of here. One time when the Americans, the Capitol Records, did a right on the songs that they chose for Rubber Soul. What a great folk rock album they created. A lot of people like this better than the uh, UK version of it. Great shot there. Got these two solo albums from the um, early 80s. All in the shrink, perfect condition. Got the best of George Harrison, which is original uh, cardboard uh, inner sleeve. Him as a boy, and there as he was in the 70s. And got this John Lennon from 1986, live in New York City. It's an embossed cover. That's how the uh, first pressings were. It's got the hype sticker. Got a picture from the, the show and an unplayed record. Really catches uh, his um, only time he ever performed a live show, a uh, complete show at Madison Square Garden, 1972. One more item. Got that sealed. Early 1970s, yesterday and today, with the trunk cover. No, the butcher cover is not underneath this one. I do have another butcher cover that I'm gonna peel coming in here in a few days. A real nice one in the shrink. Original price was five dollars and eighty-seven cents, but it's uh, sealed with a little break in the mouth there. But it's it sold about the first uh, 30 minutes I put it up on eBay. That's my fireworks new arrival specials for my Sticker Mania 2853 eBay store. Thanks a lot, grandson. See ya next time.